Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be integrating a function or an expression, whatever you want to call it. But it's not a polynomial. We have x to the seventh power plus one divided by x to the third power plus one dx, which means we're going to integrate with respect to x and everything is with respect to x. So it's good, right? We wouldn't know what to do if it was dy because we wouldn't know what y is unless y is given. Of course, sometimes we use the u substitution and then we get uh, fine du, which turns uh, an integral to another variable, right? Anyways, so how do we integrate something like this? One method is using long division because, I mean, can we do some type of special substitution? Probably not. If you had x squared plus one in the denominator, you know what you could have done? You could replace x with tangent theta because tangent squared theta plus one is secant squared. So that kind of gives us something nice. But not only that, uh, when you, you know, just, well, this turns into secant squared. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. But dx also becomes nice because how do you find dx from here? That would be secant squared theta d theta. See, the secant squared would cancel out. Awesome, right? And you would end up with a seventh power, which is crazy, obviously, but better than a fraction. I mean, you have a rational function. They're hard to integrate. Another thing you can do is probably do partial fractions, but the numerator has a higher degree, so you would have to do the polynomial division first. Make sense? So substitution doesn't apply here. It doesn't work because we have x cubed. Is there anything that we can substitute for x cubed? I don't think so. And correct me if I'm wrong. But here's what I'm going to do. Instead of doing the long division, I'm going to manipulate the numerator so that it's easily divisible by the denominator. Does that make sense at all? Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. So we'll start with this. x to the seventh plus one divided by x cubed plus one dx. And I'm going to go ahead and write the x to the seventh plus one as follows. x to the seventh plus x to the fourth minus x to the fourth. Now, notice that I can add and subtract the same thing, which is, is essentially zero. And then I can subtract and add the same thing. Again, that's zero. Notice that I haven't really added anything. I just added zero. You can add it a million times. And then plus one at the end. Awesome. Now, this is really cool. You know why? Because now we can split it up. And uh, when we split it up, it's going to be really meaningful. Of course, that's why we added these terms. Take a look at this first piece. You'll hopefully get what I'm talking about. So the first one is going to be x to the seventh plus x to the fourth divided by this. Let me just uh, separate these first. And then I'll be getting negative x to the fourth minus x divided by x cubed plus one. And then plus x plus one divided by x cubed plus one. That's the whole thing. Now we're going to start separating. I mean simplifying. I separated them already, but now I got to simplify. How do I simplify this? Easy. Look at the first one. We can factor out x to the fourth, and then inside we get x cubed plus one. Uh-oh, surprise. x to the third plus one cancels out. And now I can go ahead and separate all these integrals or integrands, such a weird word that we almost never use. Now we can go ahead and simplify this. Wait a minute, can you always do that or under certain things? Well, these are indefinite integrals, so I guess that wouldn't matter. Otherwise, we could run into some issues maybe, right? With improper situations. Hopefully, you know what I'm talking about. And for this one, I'm going to factor out a negative x. That's going to give me x cubed plus 1. This is nice, isn't it? And then x cubed plus 1 is going to cancel out, of course. And for the last one, I need to do something else. But let me go ahead and cancel these first. I can't wait. And the last one is also factorable, but this time it's the denominator that needs to be factored. You know why? Because it's sum of two cubes. You probably knew that, right? Hopefully. And I don't have any room. I do. Never mind. I can put the dx here. Okay, I was trying to fit it. Now x plus 1 is going to cancel out, and we're going to end up with a rational function with some quadratic uh, in the denominator, which is fine. I'll tell you how to do it. But the others are super easy. Look at this. x to the fourth dx. Can't you integrate this? I can put the minus sign on the outside, minus x dx, plus I have 1 over x squared minus x plus 1 dx. 
Awesome. How do you integrate x to the fourth? Easy. You just increase the power by one and divide by the result, resulting number, exponent, whatever you want to call it. In other words, this is x to the fifth divided by five. Why? Because if you differentiate this using the power rule, you get x to the fourth. Check it out. And then this one is minus x squared divided by two. Now I'm going to integrate this. Let me do it separately, and then I'll bring it in here, okay? If I don't forget. If I do, then I'll probably come back and, again, bring it here. So I shouldn't be forgetting. So here's what we're trying to integrate now. How do I integrate this? Good question. This will also give you some idea about what happens if there's a quadratic in the denominator. Well, we're going to use perfect squares because perfect squares are perfect for this. How do you write this as a perfect square? So we kind of need to complete the square. In other words, we kind of need to look at the coefficient of x, which is negative 1, square it. Well, never mind. You have to cut in half first. What's half of negative 1? Negative 1 half, square it, 1 fourth. So I need 1 fourth, but I have 1, so I need to add 3 fourths. You know what that means? It means we completed the square, and this is x minus 1 half quantity squared plus 3 fourths. Let's go ahead and plug it in, and then I'll show you what we're going to do. This will be x minus 1 half squared plus 3 fourths. So it's kind of like this. 1 over u squared plus a squared. You know what that is? And of course, that's du, right? With respect to u, a is a constant. A, is a, a squared is a perfect square. So this is 1 over a, if I'm not mistaken, times arc tangent u over a plus a constant, c. Make sense? So you can integrate it that way. Or uh, if you want, you can just you know, set it equal to u, find du, so on and so forth. But I, I believe this is the easiest way to do it. So in this case, this is my u. And a is the square root of this number. So a squared is 3 fourths. And I'm going to go with the positive root. a is root 3 over 2. So this integral is going to be 1 over this, which is 2 over root 3, times arc tan u, which is x minus 1 half, divided by a, which is root 3 over 2. Of course, you can kind of put the 2 on the... Uh, in the denominator, in the numerator, just flip it, okay? You know what I'm talking about, right? So this will become, and if I rationalize the denominator, I have to do that, times arc tan 2x minus 1 divided by root 3, and then plus the constant. Okay, let's go ahead and bring the other stuff in. So we had the x to the fifth, and then plus the other stuff. So let's go ahead and bring it down, x to the fifth over 5, minus x squared over 2. Did I copy that correctly? Let me check because I make a lot of mistakes. You know that, right? Plus 2 root 3 over 3 times arc tan 2x minus 1 over root 3. Let me put that in parentheses and put the constant. Don't forget that you lose a lot of points on the test. Even You might even lose the whole thing depending on your professor, <laughs> depending on the uh, rate of your professor, right? But this should be the integral x, what was my original problem? x to the 7 plus 1 divided by x to the 3rd plus 1 dx. I mean, who could have thought that these two things would be equal? And if you don't believe that, go ahead and differentiate this expression. You should be getting this expression. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.